Oh boy, we are in big trouble. So lately I've noticed that YouTube is uh, acting a little strange, a little wonky. Um, subscriptions not coming up, different things that just aren't normal for YouTube. I know when we all started out we watched uh, a lot of YouTube videos to get educated up on things. Um, and now, for the point of this whole thing is, if you don't have subscriptions to truth channels or whatever, you're probably not going to find them. So I thought I'd do a little experiment. We went over to Sandy Hoax documentary, and I typed it in, and you got CBS News, PBS NewsHour, CNN, CNN Fox News, Inside Edition, CBS News, Los Angeles Times, Daily Mail, ABC News, Inside Edition, Bloomberg, Global News, CNN, page after page after page of corporate owned news. So yeah, hopefully you know that three companies roughly own all the media in the United States. And it's probably that way in most Western countries. YouTube used to be an outlet where we could actually try to find things that were maybe of a different opinion. Maybe not right, maybe not wrong, but we would just at least be able to see them. Now it's hard to do that. So we tried the Pulse nightclub staged shooting, or staged event, I guess I put in. And you've got NBC News, ABC News, Justin Bieber Plays Tribute, ABC News, CBS Evening News, Inside Edition, page again, page after page, corporately owned ideas telling you what you should think about this. And finally we get one from Sheila Allen, good YouTuber. She hasn't done much lately, but um, that's the first one that might even be a varying opinion. And they get way more views than these other ones. Look at the Associated Press, 4.7. She got 6.6 thousand views. So it's not that it's advertiser-driven any longer. We're now propaganda message-driven. Check out the Las Vegas shooting. Guardian, Fox News, Guardian, New York Daily News, BBC News, Fox Business, Fox News, CBS, ABC, on and on and on. And very little information about any possible other outcome. There's one. We found one. What happens in Vegas, staged in Vegas. Black Dot, Urban X TV, don't know that channel, but 10 months ago, 48,000 views. Proving Demons, 75,000 views. When you look at the other corporate ones, um, 5,000 views, 210,000 views, 3.5 million. Well, that's an interesting one from The Guardian. But for the most part, independent YouTubers drove YouTube to become the platform it is, and now that's all gone. 9-11 Inside Jobs is a little different story. I don't know that they care because most people have either formed an opinion or forgot about it. So there's quite a bit of alleged conspiracy theories, and you can see that word over and over, conspiracy theories, conspiracy. Um, and the, so... If you're, like I said, if you're new to researching things, you just think something's different, I wish you luck because you're not going to find it in YouTube any longer. Unless you're willing to put in filters and put a minus sign, CNN minus sign, RT minus sign, ABC. I think it's over for YouTube. So there's a new platform out there. It's Real.Video. I have a little channel over there just like my little one over here, but... I think it might be big. Mike Adams from Natural News is doing a good job trying to combat this, I think. I don't believe he's a co-intel-pro. I think he's the real deal, but we'll see. We used to think YouTube was a place where we could uh, put our opinions out there and share some information with somebody, but apparently that's not the case. Thanks for watching. Love to hear your comments. If you like, share, and subscribe, we get more views. So we're not monetized, but just figured I'd put that out there. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.